a beautiful girl, alone in the magician's secret warehouse. She'll be his next victim. I mean, volunteer. We haven't seen her before. She looks friendly and well-dressed, too. The magician calls in his assistants. They're always friendly, if sometimes underdressed. They each take the end of a sheet and, on his command, raise the sheet in front of the girl. The magician lifts the sheet to prove that she's still there. Yes, those are her real legs. In this mysterious secret warehouse, you can bet that something devious is about to happen. The magician lowers the sheet, and the assistants carefully place it up and over the girl's head. She had her chance to get out of this trick before it started. Let's see how she ends up. The magician raises the sheet to reveal the girl no longer has a middle. Take a closer look. Amazingly, the girl's midsection has actually disappeared. Incredible. And she's still smiling. Well, that's one way to lose a few inches around the middle. So, how does the magician remove the lady's midsection while her head and legs remain visible for all the world to see? Here are the secrets. When the illusion begins, the magician meets the overdressed girl who is standing in one spot. The fact that she's wearing this curious costume and that she never moves is a clue that something is up. The first secret is hidden in the long skirt, this sturdy wire frame which holds the skirt in place. When the sheet is lifted in front of the girl, she just sneaks out of the back and sinks down behind it. With the skirt removed from the frame, we can see her sit down. The next secret is that there is a false panel in the wall. A stagehand behind the wall removes the panel so the girl can lie back and out of sight. Then, a matching panel with a small cutout for her body is replaced, making the wall look solid. This allows her legs to be in view of the audience while her body has vanished. But what about her head and the rest of her upper body? The secret here is that the magician has employed identical twins. Before the trick begins, the second girl is positioned behind the wall on this rolling platform. The cinder blocks on the back of the platform are critical to keep it from tipping over. While the first girl is busy reclining into the fake wall, a second false panel is removed, allowing her identical twin sister to be rolled out into place. This is the girl who gets the sheet draped over her head. The cinder blocks are crucial to ensure that the platform's center of gravity remains behind the wall, allowing the girl to safely ride out beyond the wall without tipping over ruining the trick, her sister, and herself. Another false panel with a cutout conceals the larger hole in the wall. You might have noticed the girl's unusual posture. This is because she's got to lift her head and upper body at an awkward angle to make it look like she's standing. The magician carefully arranges the sheet over her head and shoulders in an attempt to hide the uncomfortable position. The bulky costume hangs down to hide the underside of the rolling platform. The audience believes they are seeing one girl with no middle. But you know the secrets.